First of all, Psych2Go would like to say a huge thank you to all our viewers and followers for helping us reach 200,000 subscribers. As always, we'll be posting videos every Sunday on topics picked by you guys, so please continue to support us. Now let's get straight into it. Sleeping and dreaming is something we all do, and most of us quite enjoy getting back to bed after a long day of work or school. But what happens within our brains when we are in the land of dreams? 1. Dreaming generally happens during the rapid eye movement stage of sleep, also known as REM. Only about 10% or less of dreams happen outside the REM stage. 2. Dreaming is probably more important than we think. In a study by Dement, participants were deprived of dreaming during their normal sleep cycles, as they were woken up each time they entered REM sleep. As a result, the participants became more anxious, more irritable, and had trouble concentrating while they were awake. It seemed like a certain drive to dream built up inside of them the more they were deprived of it. Their mind's attempts to dream increased as the study progressed. During the recovery period, when the participants were allowed to sleep during the REM stage, there was a higher than average percentage of dream time and an increase in total dream time. 3. Babies spend up to 50% of their sleep in REM stage, while adults only spend about 20% in REM stage. 4. If you're woken during the REM stage, you are more likely to remember your dreams. In another study by Dement and Kleitman, when participants were woken during the REM stage, they were able to remember dreams more often and also judge the length of their dreams with high accuracy. On the other hand, they remembered dreams much less often if they were woken at other times. 5. The eye movements you make during the REM sleep are related to the visual imagery of your dreams. 6. Drug withdrawal, as well as recently quitting drinking or smoking, can cause more intense dreams. 7. Blind people can dream too. If they were born blind, they'll have auditory or sensory dreams. If they became blind at a later stage in life, they are able to dream of things they remember. 8. In ancient Rome, people would submit their significant or unusual dreams to the Senate for interpretation. 9. Dream interpretation theories have been around for thousands of years. The Chester B.D. Papyrus is a record of Egyptian dream interpretations from around 1850 BCE. 10. People who grew up watching black and white television are more likely to dream in black and white than those who grew up with color television. 11. You might have heard of people having falling dreams. You might even have had one yourself. These often happen during the earlier stages of sleep and can be followed up by the feeling of jerking awake. These muscle spasms are called myoclonic jerks. 12. Your environment can affect your dreams. While you sleep, your brain will sometimes incorporate sounds or other stimuli from your surroundings into your dream. If someone next door is playing music, you might dream of being at a concert, or if you hear running tap water, you might dream that you're swimming. So what do you think about these effects? Have you ever experienced any of them while sleeping or dreaming? Let us know in the comments below! Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days Thursday, Friday, happy days Saturday, the Sabbath day There's so much you can't do These are the Sabbath hours the Sabbath day Satan wants them to be sour the Sabbath day Sky, hello blue. The Sabbath day is made for you. Day of rest, fellowship too. So much joy for you to choose. The Sabbath days are yours and mine. Oh, happy day. The Sabbath days are yours and mine. Oh, happy day. 
Sabbath days are yours and mine. Sabbath days are yours and mine. Happy days.